everyone today i'm going to be doing a spring look well a spring summer type look i don't know why but because of the weather i feel like going for something out of this palette i've looked in my cupboards and this is the palette that i want to use i feel like i need to be all sizzly sizzly summer spring i know they don't go together but you know what i mean i've got like this sizzly look in my head so this is the palette i'm using it's the morphe one painted dessert it's called 9d and I just looked in there and thought, right, that's what we're going to go with. Look, not all of it, but I'm going to play about. I've got this palette here, although I'm not using any foundation today because I've got a tan. And I absolutely hate foundation anyway, I've got to be honest. Not one for wearing it on a daily basis. I do it when I wear my makeup looks so I can build up and show you, like, um, the contour and blush and all that kind of stuff. But daily, I don't wear it. I absolutely hate it. I'll wear things like, um, like an SPF but now nah. um today i'm wearing this so new regina and it is the hydro boost and i bought it ages ago because my skin was suffering at work getting really dry it's happening again so i pulled it back out and i can't believe how lush it is it really is it's it just sometimes when you put cream on your skin you can feel like this film i hate that i don't like i think that's why i don't like wearing foundation like anything on my skin i feel like i like it to breathe this feels like it breathes and it's more like a water love it and if you stick it in the fridge oh my god it's very good for rosacea because i think that's what i've got my cheeks will go really burn and they'll on fire stick that in the fridge stick it on oh it's been lovely i've been doing that last couple of weeks is because i've been having fire ups so now i've yabbered on i hope you're keeping well we're going to get cracking so obviously no foundation i've already put a load of that on and off we go so as you can see i've caught the sun i've been off for three days and i've done nothing well i have walked i've been to the doctors um e the last couple of days i felt really low in mood not very nice at all not and, and i was thinking come on lauren it's sunny it's snap out of it and i just couldn't i felt so sad and horrible and jordan's lovely so yesterday he said right we're gonna go up and have we'll have a walk somewhere i'll come out on a walk with your mum." so thought right so i went to the doctors in the morning got my blood done because i'm still getting checked up to find out why i've been feeling a bit poo lately so i'm doing all that i walk home that was a nice walk by the time i got back i felt a bit better had me lunch martin's at work he does monday to friday and has weekends off but my shifts have changed i've dropped my hours to 30 so i get more days off i can come and do this more for you I love the fact I can do this. I didn't feel like doing anything yesterday though and the day before and I was getting quite worried because I always told you I'll never come on if I feel really down because it's it's just you've got to have positivity in your life sometimes and sometimes I'm in a bit of a mood and I didn't want to be seen because you can tell you lot when I'm not myself. These are very good at it, more than I am. So yeah, I didn't feel like coming on here. But I feel really good today. And it's so strange, I wish I could bottle it. It's getting more and more erratic the older I get. I hate it. It's me hormones. But it's still not very good. Because you don't realise it's happening until it happens. Anyway. So, Jordan came for a walk. We went up into the Cleveland Hills. We walked across the park. Love the park. It's like the woods. Honestly, you, you just go over there and you feel brilliant. You can hear the birds. The trees are moving. It's just fantastic. And then went up into the hills, which is my favourite walk. I love going up there. I used to take all the dogs up there. I've got good memories. I just love it. Um, and then you kind of come back on yourself. And there's a slope because you're going uphill to get there. And then it comes round. Then you go back on yourself. And where there's like a horse, a white horse painted on the um, the rockery. But I think it's been taken off. It's been washed off or whatever. But you can kind of come back on yourself. You've got to come down this big slope to get onto the the bridle path where the horses are so jordan went down first and he was fine it was quite deep mind i went and i went halfway and then i couldn't couldn't control myself you know and it the because the, the gravel was just starting to slip under my feet well i went over i did that and smacked me on the coat was awful i had like um gravel dust all over it so not only was me on saw from blood taken the front the back was smacked off the gravel i couldn't believe it. i was laughing my head off jordan come up to get us halfway and then because it's such a steep incline 
uh, he's grabbed a hold of us and we both like ran so fast nearly fell over again at the bottom he's trying to help us out but she had us right up and like i said today i woke up i feel much different i feel much better i just wish you could feel like this all the time it's not fair do you know what i mean but i've taken my starflower oil i've been taking that for over a month now i'm on my second pot and i'm on the horse pills the um solgar female multiple I don't swallow them whole, they're far too big. I do believe you could probably die on them and choke. Someone did say they did nearly die in their bedroom. So I've got a phobia about taking stuff anyway. So I crush mine and knock it back with a load of tomato juice and it does a trick. So yeah, anyway, let's go. So I didn't have the colour I wanted in this palette for a background colour. So I'm using Colourpop Sea Stars. This one here and it's gorgeous off James hopefully he's back at work because he is obviously he couldn't do anything for the, the lockdown he had to shut shut shop wasn't able to work so he's back now he should be happy but it's affected so many people hasn't it I don't know why that even get me hair done I'm just thinking I walked past a few hairdressers yesterday and I was thinking I don't even know part of us thinks I suit me darker hair with a bit of blonde on the ends it's how I it's my signature, but at the same time, I do love what a good blonde um, highlight near the front can do. It just cheers your face up. But for me, I've noticed if I get it done, it looks really strange for a few weeks until it settles in. Does anyone else feel like that, especially if you're naturally dark haired? So it just takes a while to settle all in. You get there eventually. I just want a little bit of a background colour for this. Probably not going to be as long as a video. I'm saying that. I always say that, don't I? And it always tends to end up being. Yeah, I made dinner last night because Martin usually does all the cooking. But he's joined the gym again. He's over the moon because he, he loves it. So he's joined the gym again. So I'll be doing dinners at night when he's there. So last night it was Tuscan chicken. And I thought, right, it's been that long, you know, since I've cooked that you forget timings. You forget. And it's just, it was so natural. It was, I loved it. And it went down a treat. So it was like chicken. I put a picture on their Insta Instagram with all the details. So if you follow me Instagram, you'll see it there anyway. But it was lush. Really, really, really lush. I don't know if I showed you what I put. I just poured my eye out. I used that on my eye. I didn't want to use the P. Louise because, because I've not no foundation on it. It would have been a bit too much. But that you can kind of blend it to nothing. So you've just got a little bit of a base. So that's MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. That was a question I had for you. For all of you that did use the, um, or did used to use MAC pigments, what was your favourite colour and why? That's the question I've been dying to ask you, but I keep forgetting every time I do a video, I'm like, oh, because it's, I'll tell you which one for me and I'll tell you why. For me, it was a gold as green and that, the completely discontinued but it was such a beautiful light crisp apple green with shimmer oh, it was so lush and i loved it and i loved it even more because when i went to london i was went past gold as green on the bus and it was like Yee! and those were really happy times like it was just before you know like when my makeup was just starting to take off mac themselves got in touch with us um and they had us come to london put us in a hotel room, took us for lunch and said thanks for doing all the videos that I did. I tried to work with them at the time but I don't think I was what they were looking for. But the because at the time there wasn't many people doing the videos, I know I think they just wanted to say thank you because I used their products religiously. As you know, I got a load of views onto it. But yeah, I don't think I was quite what they wanted at the time. Um, I don't know what they were looking for but it wasn't me. But yeah i really enjoyed those times and that was my favorite pigment and that is why so what is yours i'd love to love to hear from you and see what you say that's that on so it's just a basic background not a lot it just gives a bit of something and i didn't want it too much now on the eyelid it's actually i might do a little bit more on top of that see what's in here shall i yeah Ooh. Ooh. i'm gonna be i'm gonna mm-hmm I'm going to use the red, guys. You ready? I didn't think I was going to because I looked at it and thought, no. But I'm going to, just a tiny bit though, okay? 
same brush just a bit red can be quite nice especially with green eyes it just makes them pop I'm just gonna stick just a little bit on the outer corner and just roll that in a like roll it inwards I don't want to go as high up as I have with that outer color but just to shove that in there oh I've got something to show you as well tried something out and I thought there's no way it's going to be better than the thing I use already and I'm honestly blown away I'll show you in a minute you'll get to see I'm going to put it on love 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 it never thought anything could beat it what I, but yeah yeah definitely I'm just gonna have to pull some faces here to get this in here oh my my skin is not what it used to be I'm having to hug it up pull it back I'm thinking of putting sellotape on the sides of my head here we go that went in my eye so just a little bit of something a little bit of summer sizzle I don't the spring it's not really a spring look is it I'm making this up as I go along I just looked at this palette and thought yep you're going on my eyes today right now I'm going to put the yellow so we're going in with a yellow look at that it's a matte yellow like um, a really vintage 1980s yellow and I love that type of thing so I'm just going to put that all over the lid I probably have to blend that red back inward. Oh, it's quite thick that. Oh, and yes, thank you everyone for all your fantastic comments on my wedding video. Like seriously, blow as blue as away. Martin's put a comment on there as well. He says thank you because a couple of you have said he's handsome. And Jordan as well. I've told Jordan, go on, say thank you because a couple of you said that he was handsome. So, but you honestly, the comments and the views are mega. Really, really appreciate you taking the time to look at that and watch it. It means a lot to us. It was an important day of my life. We loved it. We wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have done it any different. We've often talked about this. Would we have waited? Nah. It was the right time and it was just perfect for us. And we're never going to forget in a hurry. Had to wear masks. But it was really good. In the place where we went as well. Definitely, if you ever thinking about getting married at Gretna Green do it it's uh, quite romantic and it is conveyor belt because when we were having our dinner afterwards there's loads of brides coming and going but there was a lovely sense of like everyone saying congratulations because we're all in the same boat and I didn't know you can get your hair done there and um, so basically me and Nicola did my own hair in the hotel room but I wanted it all up and stuff, but she did an amazing job. But yes, if you want to get your hair done, you can get it done there as well. And I didn't know you could. So, oh, now what? I'm going to put something underneath. What's that? I keep hearing things. It's not the dog. Jordan's not in. Hmm. This sounds like someone's coming in the house. Yeah, well. The dogs would have went off that note if they had. Right, just blend this out a bit more. Really like that red, that's lovely. And I love this dress I've got, the colour. It's by Pretty Little Thing. But it's massive. I bought it and it was massive. And I thought, oh, you know, I was putting weight on at the time. I thought, I'll grow into it. And I was a good stone and a half heavier. I'm now at my lowest since I was lowest which I'm over the moon about. So I'm well below what I was when I met Martin. So that was over, it was just under four year ago. Um, I tend to, I'm a funny one. I do tend to put a bit of weight on. I'm, I'm lucky I've never went and put all of it back on because I know a lot of you who followed us right from the start. I was, I'm sure I was nearly 15 and a half stone, you know. It might, it might have been a little bit less, but it was about 15 and a half stones. Very big for me height, five foot three. And I just, oh, I was, I was miserable. And it's annoying, you know, because I often, when I'm out, I see bigger girls all the time and they dress smart and they look really good with it. And I always thought, God, I looked horrible with weight. I didn't like the way I looked at all. 
but I'm so envious of some girls because the hair's all done, they look immaculate, they're dressed lush. You know, everything looks amazing on them and they look so comfortable with themselves. Do you know what I mean? And I just was so miserable. It ruined my 20s for sure because I was very big in my 20s. And then obviously my start in my 30s, I got extremely big. And that was, I think I was about... 33 or 34 was I when I started losing the weight and I've never looked back I feel much better but yeah and I would I must have done a lot for me um me health there's no doubt about it I, I've just used the orange by the way I don't know if I showed you so I've just been in with that one to go underneath but I think I'm going to put a bit of red yeah just a little bit of the red just on the outer corner just to darken it out I like to be a bit like, um, you know, torn, a bit of a torn going on. There's a better word for it, it just hasn't come to my head yet. Ian, that's another thing. I'm getting worse, my memory's getting worse. And I think that's what's adding to my low mood because I just can't seem to think straight. Like when I'm at work, I genuinely, I'm not getting things. And it's... Uh, Oh, it's awful. And I don't think being, um, I don't think the, the sleep isn't working. I don't think that helps. Because sometimes I don't sleep at all. I'll basically just lie there all night, in and out of sleep. Keep waking up with my heart thumping if I'm stressed. And the night sweats, they're horrific. I don't think that helps. So obviously you're not const if, you, if you're not getting the good night's sleep, you're not going to be thinking clearly, are you? So it's not, it's not a good situation. So I've lowered me out as it works so that I'm not too head up about being there too often and for too long. Because when you're tired at that place and you're on your feet, it's horrible. It's the worst. So I'm so glad I did what I did. I just need to make sure that I top up. I've got to make sure that I top up the money that I'm losing. So I'm going to have to do loads of makeup looks for you. And you'll have to send them to all your friends so everyone views them. And I get a view and then I can put the adverts on. I'm going to ask out, right? Everyone else does. But yeah, it helps if you share my video out and all that kind of stuff. Now, this one here, I'm going to be using. I'm just staying brush. It saves cleaning, doesn't it? And plus, I don't know what it is about using a dirty brush. It works just nice. So I'm going to put a little bit in there, not a lot. And put that there as well. There we go. But bit more I don't know whether I should oh and guess what I'm coming up I'm coming up hang on you'll have to wait I have to I'll show you at the same time so right we've got my eyes done I want to get my brows done quick and then I'll show you what I got because I'd uh, the one I had I ran out of so I'm using soap and glory brow it's like a this is just a gel so I just shape my brows first and then if you look, that one's longer than that one. I sleep on this size side and it's never grew back. It just, it hasn't grown back. This one's really lovely shape where that one just stopped. I'm not, I'm not impressed, but it doesn't seem to matter what I do. Even if I'm not sleeping on that side, it will not grow back for some reason. So we've lost it. It's gone. It's left the party. Now, where is my eyeliner brush? I always keep losing these things. Oi. Ah, there it is. Right, okay. So, going in with the e.l.f. palette, bare necessities or new necessities or something, all I want is this dark. And that's just because I'm going to pull my brow just... There we go. So we've got an end on each one. Don't want it too dark because it looks a bit silly, especially when I've got no foundation on. But I far prefer not to wear foundation if I can. That one looks really dark, doesn't it? Right, so that's done. Now, are you ready? So first of all, I've got three, and it was by accident, so I hope Martin's not watching because I spent a little bit of money on these. Glossier. They are expensive, they're £15 each, but it's my favouritest, favouritest black liquid tip liner ever, ever. Like when I was out of them, 
seriously I hated putting liner on nothing I had come close nothing so this here look at it it's super fine tip my, eyelid, my eyelids they're getting I'm them getting older and I've noticed that because I'm older it's more like this do you know what I mean so once you put your liner on you can't see what you can't see your makeup look and you look like you've got really squinty eyes because you can't see your eyelid and that's the problem I'm having with a lot of eyeliner brush, eyeliner pens. This one here, it's so tiny. Same with the Doll 10 Beauty. I love that one. But the only ones they sent me were in Mocha. So you can see it's brown. But lush. I'd been using them anyway. And just, you know, putting some black eyeshadow over the top. But this here, Glossier Pro Tip. Can't, can't say anything. I can't say enough about it. It's brilliant. So we're going to use this. Now watch it. I'm not going on. I'll give it this good speech. It'll, it'll be like, no. So, I've done it already. I just keep as close as I can to the lash line. And it's annoying because when you get older, like I remember just super whizzing this on. And then you get to a certain age and you've literally got to pull your skin open to to get it on without it going funny now this is fun and I never do this when I've got 10 minutes to get ready for work because guarantee it goes wrong so really I need to do this more and practice a lot more but again I just don't bother putting it on much I've been putting a little bit more on for work lately just because I think well do it while you still can because there's going to come a time when my eyelids are just not they're going to say no get that off because it's halfway there now so I'm just trying my best I'm thinking someone give us some great advice because what they'd like to say on my channel it's not something I've done before but maybe it's 40 skincare late 30s 40 skincare um, I know there's a couple of channels that do it but I think what I will do is really do some research and get back to you on it because I need to look after my skin too and we're at ages now well I am where it really important for the next phase and I've just messed that up if you can every time I do a video my throat clicks like a dolphin can you hear it does anyone ever hear it this is the next thing I was going to show you. This is why I went out and bought, seen it on the telly and thought, ooh, ooh, Maybelline Sky High. Right, okay. As you know, nothing, and I mean nothing for me, come close to me NYX on the rise. And I'm really sad and all because I've told NYX loads of times that the last couple of tubes, they were different. The, um, the, the liquid was different. The formula was a bit different, like wet. So it didn't clump as much, which is good, but I like a bit of clump. Like I don't want it to be too wet because then they're just heavy. This is just perfect. So I still use that one, but this one here, look at it. The brush, I looked at it and thought, oh, here we go. Nah. But then look at this. Look how bouncy and soft that is. And it, and what's amazing about it, you can get so close to your lash line. Like, cause you know the way I put the mascara on isn't, isn't like other people. I like to tip my head back and I literally wiggle my eyelid into the brush. And seriously, you can do that so much easier with this. And because it's not a big brush, look at that. It really, you can get right in there without messing your makeup up. And, and oh, I love it. The formula is amazing. I just hope when I buy it in my next tube, the formula is the same. Like, look at that. I've hardly put any on and just love it. My eyelashes are long anyway. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm very lucky, but even still, like, the difference between the ones I've got on and me, normal, like, there's nothing there, you know? But, yeah, I love it, absolutely love it. It's fantastic. And now I've got, and it, you can get right in the outer corner as well to lift it out. Just lovely fantastic so i'm gonna get more of these fantastic really 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 impressed with this now i haven't been paid to say that so don't worry there's been times where people have sent us stuff 
and it's been horrible and I've said so. And I felt really guilty as well because not that they pay you but they've sent you for free. I still can't lie, I have to say something. So, if we send us anything, I have to tell the truth. But this is amazing. Look at that. Just look at it. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm so in love with it. Definitely going to grab myself some more tubes while it's there. Because I didn't with the last lot. And then they discontinued it. There was one years ago. Um, it was, I worked for Boots Number no. 7 brand. No, it wasn't Number no. 7. It was Collection. No, what the hell was it? Boots something. Oops. Boots. Oh, dear me. Was it Collection 2000? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. Come on, what was it? Oh, my. I can't think of it. Uh-oh. What was it? It was Boots brand. Uh, you know what? I'm being silly. It's right in here. 17. 17 of I had I worked with 17 and I absolutely loved the stuff the centers the centers is mascaras contour powder um red lipstick eyeliner and, and, the, and obviously the mascara I loved every part of it and it's never been a brand that I'd gone out and got beforehand and I got so into it and then discontinued the mascara so I ran into boots and grabbed about six of them before they went and then thought, well, what's the point in having six mascaras? I can't do a video on it because they don't exist anymore for you. But I used some of them anyway, but and gave away a couple. So anyway, that's the mascara talk done. But look at that. Aren't they big? Ooh. Now, if I'm going to do, I'm going to have to take a screenshot. Look, I'm, I'm 26 minutes already. I said I wouldn't do this to you. I've got lipstick to put on yet. Ooh. Right, come on then. Let's get some lipstick on. Where am I? Ah, that's what I wanted to do. Just in case, I'm going to put a little bit of this on. Just a bit, not a lot. Take this brush. I got sent another little brush set, which I'm going to do a giveaway on. It's a set of these. They're lovely. So I've got three sets. I do need to do a giveaway. New Panacea fan page. Yes, I'm going to get that done. I just need to, um, I need a bit of help with how to pick numbers. I'm putting the... Nip and fab. Just a little here. Just a little. Just to exaggerate the fact I've got a tan. But because I haven't put foundation on, it's not going to stick the same, which I'm still fine with. It does a little bit. So hollow out, hollow out this cheek a little. It hasn't got a glow to it. But what I'm going to put on top of it will have. I really like this look. It's proper summery and hot sizzly. And then I'm going to probably do a daylight look. So it's Friday a day. I don't think there's any, there's no point in me putting videos out on Wednesdays and Fridays. I've done it before, but there's so many like, big YouTubers put their videos out on that, that mine just gets ignored. Because I'm a little person. I'm a little small fish now. But Sundays, I think a lot of years seem to watch on a Sunday, so probably stick to putting them out on Sundays. But I don't know, what do you think? When do you watch videos? Let us know, because I, I need feedback. I've got to have some feedback. It's lovely. Now, the lipstick I picked was this one here. I bought. It smells a bit funny, so I don't know if I want to use that one. It's a lush colour, mind. But I'm going to go with this one. It's, oh, I didn't do my blush. This one here, it's Michael Kors. Look at that. Estee Lauder Sunset Coral. It's a Michael Kors edition. E and you know, Estee Lauder and Mac used to send me stuff all the time. I was on the PR list and used to always send stuff. And then now they don't because there's so many like, bigger channels to send the products to now. I understand. But I used to love getting me little packages. Used to absolutely love it. So I'm so glad I never put foundation on it. It was just... just Ugh, not, not at the minute. I'm going to show off my tan. Now, we're going to go... So that, that's, I'm happy with that. Then we're going to go in with this here. So, this one is Love Hangover. I love that name. So, the night when Martin gets home from work, I'm going... We're going to... He's driving to the gym. And then, what I'll do is... Is this the right colour? 
Mm, it's nice, nice enough. I don't know if it's right on it, might put something on it. So I'm going to drive to the gym and then I've got my headphones and I'm just going to walk around outside because there's a beautiful park it's right next to the beach and he'll be an hour and a half or so. Mm. Actually, that's nice that. I wanted something a bit... I'm going to make my own here. I said this was going to be a little video and it's not. I lie all the time. I'm so sorry. Okay. Right, what we're doing here, we need to put a little bit of, ooh, right, this'll do. What we're gonna do, put a bit of, bit of that, should put a bit of that on. So we should put a bit of red. Nope, doesn't need red. I've ruined my lip brush now. Right, we're going to put the first one in. That's it. It's flattened it though. Should have just used this colour lipstick, shouldn't I? Oh. I should have just left it alone. Ugh, I should have just left that alone. See, never mind. What I'll do is I'll just go back over with this. That's it. Mm, it smells like nugget. It's lush. Vanilla nugget. Right. I'm all done. I think I preferred the first lip colour without that gold. And the gold kind of spoiled it. Never mind. You can't win them all. Right, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this look. I love it. And I can't believe how big them lashes are. Really, really, really enjoyed this one. Who else doesn't wear foundation even when they've got their makeup on? Is it just me? Am I a nutter? Anyway, I shall see you all in a bit. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, press the bell, share, like, comment and all that kind of stuff. Zoom, zoom.